welcome back to easy spirit 101 i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thank you for being here thank you for watching before we get started i wanted to mention yes i know about the volume some days the volume is good some days the volume is too low i do have to get a, a new microphone for the channel for those of you who have donated I super, super appreciate you because this is exactly what those donations go towards. Stuff like having to upgrade equipment, getting new decks, anything else, any materials that might come up that we might need. I've even gotten some books that we'll be bringing into the channel later on, so on and so forth. Um, again, I want to thank you guys. And yes, you might have to turn the volume up if you watch me regularly. You might have to turn the volume up for a little bit, but we will be getting a new microphone soon. Um, thank you again, guys, for watching and for your patience. Let's see what is going on. What is? What do y'all need to know right now? What does someone in the Divine Collective need to know? Or many of you? Interesting. I feel like you're trying to walk away from something or end something very likely unhealthy. A lot of the times when you need some sort of transformational ending, especially with the five and the one, I've been seeing that a lot. A lot of us in Divine Collective right now, your your number for right now is like 115, 511. It's not just one of you or two of you, it's many of you. I also saw 144. For those of you that um, that's important for, this is like a deeply needed change that's meant for your growth. And for some of you, this is either related to like a bad uh, a habit that's been carried through, through generations that you're having to overcome. And for some of you, some of you are literally having to walk away or move on from certain family members. And I feel like there's a bit of a challenge coming towards you or coming through because of this just as I said that all of this stuff comes out it's interesting I feel like communication there's someone that you can't trust around you and not necessarily I'm not getting in your immediate energy it's like someone within your family they're going to come in with some sort of communication and they're digging around something that has to do with your stability your well-being we have the sun here i'm also getting who, this is who this person is this person is experiencing in the upright the sun is like opportunity happy circumstances confidence you're on top of the world I don't know why I feel the need to say 311 for some of you. If you've been seeing 511, 115, or 311, look, literally says 31 on this card. If you've been seeing 311, this message could also be for you. Please excuse my, my son is like kicking the wall if y'all hear banging. This is like, this with this fox energy here, this is giving me a trap. This is a trap. This person wants to come in and offer you some sort of romantic, um, they might even want to pull you away somewhere. Like, let me take you out on vacation. Let me, let me take you away somewhere and romance you. This is someone avoiding some sort of ending with you. But really, this person wants to come forward and kind of dig around about what you got going on. Here we have one five again. This person feels like you're stronger than them and that you have more opportunities than them. here it is this is this fox they're coming out as the gentleman in reverse there's something about stability here there's something about someone's house i also feel like this came out earlier for me even though you guys might not have seen it 
um, someone is going to hide a child, they're going to come forward and not tell you that they had a child outside of your relationship or something like this. Again, 1133, three, we have 31 and 13. There's something very karmic about this situation in this individual. And we have these flowers out here twice. This person wants to come in and romance you and pretend that you're they're your friend, but this person is coming out in the reverse. This person is the fox. This person is struggling. They have no opportunities on their plate and they see you like the next opportunity. And here we have the snake. This person, this person is going to be dishonest too. That they, they're dealing with someone behind the scenes. This person may even have someone behind the scenes encouraging them. This card always gives me like someone in their ear here. Someone's in this person ear, ear encouraging them to do this with you. Cloud you, could distract you, confuse you. What else do we need to know? I feel like this is part of how they're going to confuse you. Something to do with your spiritual beliefs. Maybe act like they've made some sort of progress here. Maybe act like they're in looking into the same things. This is how they're going to come in and try to confuse you. And prove to you that they're for you or that you should be in a connection with this person. What else does the mind collective need to know about this? Whatever changes comes your way. I was just going to say um, 55 is a time of out with the old and with the new. You're being directly guided to make specific changes. Or whatever changes come in front of you. Like have no fear about them know that you're going to be safe moving forward know that whatever positive action you take over your own self in your own life is going to turn out positively i don't know why i feel like something to do with this original situation that came out someone's going to try to try to like instill some sort of fear in you somehow maybe make it seem like they're going to say some sort of thing to make you feel like you have to deal with them or something like this. Perfect timing flew out in reverse. I feel like this has something to do with you and this person. This person is part of like a major lesson for you. And this is, the, this is this energetic tie that they're using to kind of try and sneak back in your energy. And you're over here operating on something's working out in perfect timing. I'm letting go. I'm surrendering. And this person's going to try and like play on this somehow. You're going to use your circumstances. This person wants to dig in what your current circumstances are so they know what to offer you to kind of trick or trap you into dealing with them. I feel like this remain positive. Something is saying they're like, they're saying this is going to tempt you. Something is going to come in and tempt you. And they kind of want you to like, it's kind of like your spirit team saying, just reach up and hold our hand while you walk through this. And please don't say yes to this. Yeah, reconsider. Please don't say yes to this. Please do not say yes to this. It's it's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. This person's not even going to come in. They're not even going to be honest. And you may already know this. You may already even know that this person is like hiding another child from you. They're going to, you're going to ask them and they're not going to admit to it or something like this. This person's literally going to come in and try and hide this person could even be connected still. This karmic individual in their ear could even be the person that they have a child with. And, and that person is encouraged, like this is some sort of like setup, like a scam or something. Like their partner, because they're struggling, 
is going to encourage them to try and come in and like trick you or deal with you again get you to deal with them yep romance sideways this person's gonna come in and try and romance you so they can take something from you they can take an opportunity from you Yeah, ask for help. This is what I was saying earlier. Like your spirit team really wants you to lean heavy on them whenever this situation comes through because you have some sort of significant energetic string or tie with this person. And this person knows that, yeah. They also want you to connect. They want to tell you more about this themselves as well. This person knows that you guys have a strong energetic tie and they're going to try and use that to play on it, to get in your, get in your door. There's something about a house and something about getting in someone's door. Yeah. Yes is here because they want you to focus on what you, they've already guided you to let go, um, go with the flow, be in God's timing, be be um in sync in sync with the divine and what 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 your spirit team has for you you could be dealing with a pisces or someone with a strong spite pisces placement i'm sorry you guys i can't talk today um This could be you. You could have a strong, you could be very, very wise, very intuitive. And again, something about healing is out here twice. You've been guided to retreat from this person, from this situation and focus on your healing. Apprenticeship. I'm drawn towards apprenticeship. You may even be, you're on some sort of spiritual journey or spiritual path or you're doing some sort of career. You've been guided to do this. And this is part of why, look, celebration in reverse. This is part of why this person senses this. This person you've been dealing with intuitively knows this and they want to come in. Again, I'm really drawn to like offering you something. They're going to try and figure out something that you need and offer you that and you might really need it and that's why it's going to be tempting and you're being guided to say no absolutely this situation is not what it seems is what's coming through yeah there's a heavy third party energy here this person is even married behind the scenes and they're not going to say it this person has like another family and they want to come in and offer you something and take advantage of some sort of blessing that you have. You're being guided to stay calm when this person comes in. Absolutely calm. Yeah, the, whoever I'm getting that this couple is like in on this, this couple they've both decided that this is okay or something they're both in some sort of five of pentacle energy i'm really getting something about like poor finances poor opportunities they see you with opportunities that they feel like they don't have Yeah, stalemate. This, these people feel like they can't move forward in some capacity. And like doing this with you is their only hope. And they're, this is you, this sensitive and sympathetic kind individual. They want to come in again and offer you something. So you maybe in turn will offer them something. Only you think it's going to be this ex-romantic partner of yours. But really, you're dealing with some sort of karmic couple at this point. There's something here about the communication between you and this person. And I feel like it's um, this person's going to like play on you. Something dishonest here. 
they also feel like they want to get something in writing. This person wants to get some sort of something in writing with you. What else does the wine collector need to know about this? You're basically being asked to be on guard with anyone you were in a romantic relationship with in the past. I just saw the tower. Yeah, they want to come in and play on like unity. They want to create some sort of unity with you, but they want to do it based on lies, deception. So you're being asked to be on guard against people that you've been guided to let go of, to cut off. Yeah, this person is not, this person is going to come in acting like they've changed and they have something to offer you. And they want to get it in writing. They want to like, there's something about creating. This is so bizarre, but this is for someone. And you'll probably know if it's for you because this box individual that came out, this box is very cunning. And I have cunning out here again. I have this quick witted cunning communication. This person knows how to do this with you. And there's something about wanting to create some sort of like marriage or commitment with you on paper. That's what you're being guided to guard yourself against. Yeah, this is like four of pentacles. Hold back. They want you. You're being guided. Divine Collective is being guided to hold back from this individual. Who again is coming up as someone that you once had some sort of strong love connection with. They're going to play on like Ten of Cups. They want a Ten of Cups with you. Really this person has like has a family behind the scenes. And this is some sort of idea that they're conjuring up. Definitely don't sign any kind of documents. I feel, I don't know why I feel like this person, this person doesn't need, whatever they're going to come and try and play or say on like playing on your feelings, playing on your kindness. There's something about this individual comparing you deeply or even to this whole entire karmic couple. Um, something about comparing something that shouldn't be compared. This person, I'm really getting sorry to be so blunt because this is someone's like past lover or something, but I feel like you're cut off with this person and you're okay with it. This person like doesn't even like you. This person doesn't even like you and they're going to come in and try and romance you. Just so they can take some sort of opportunity from you. Yeah, we have the wheel out here. You might be, for some of you, here's the best part of this reading. Wheel of Fortune is coming in quick for you and this person can sense this. This person can sense this. Yeah. Yeah burden in reverse you whatever burden you've been experiencing over the past couple of years especially if something having to do with this connection or something some this person put you through your luck is about to change three could be for timing three or two could be for timing your luck's about to change and i just got goosebumps so uh whoever this is for i'm really excited for you because this is something beautiful coming in you have the opposite of everything that this person has in the reverse so like the sun energy the opportunities the stability so this is why this person's coming in they can sense this this is giving me kind of like if you're considered a high priestess then this would be like a high priestess in reverse kind of individual This could be when I said if this person caused you something in the past, this could be what this is. And this person is going to come in and try and play on this too. They're going to come in and try and play on like they care that they did this to you. But really I'm getting they don't. There's something strong coming through with this. that This person doesn't even really like you. They might have even done this to you on purpose. Guilt you, stress you, keep you in a stressful energy. In the reverse, that can mean they just kept you there.
yeah, this is definitely coming in for you, this success, this balance, this high achievement. You have high achievement coming in. Let me see if there's anything else. Anything else you need to know? I was going to go longer with this, but I'm running out of time. So let me go ahead and see what else. If this is for you, what else do you need to know? Yeah, this they're just really want you to understand. Do not deal. If you've been guided in the past not to deal with this person or these people, they're coming out as helpful people in reverse, which basically, basically means they're going to come in playing like they're like you, like they love you, like they have something to offer you, like they want to help you. For some of you, if you like run your own business or something, they're going to come in and say, oh, let me help you run your business. I'm going to help you with your business. These people are not there. There's like a setup, some sort of setup energy going on here. Yep. That's all you need to know. This is a strong, absolutely not. This person may even try and come in trying to offer you like money or something. There's something very appealing. They're going to be very smart or clever about to know the perfect, perfect thing to offer you to get you to deal with them again. And you are strongly being guided to withhold from this person. Trust that when you move, continue to move away from this person, that you are safe and that you are guided to do so. This is a strong no from your own ancestors, your own spirit team. This is a strong no, God. God already told you, I have something else for you. I have something else for you. Helpful people in reverse are not for this divine feminine energy. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Again, thank you for watching and thank you for being patient with the whole volume thing. Um, I will see you again next time.